Hi, I'm Juwan Smith. I'm a local author, entrepreneur, and philanthropist from Lynnhurst, Ohio. And I am the author of Grandma Hattie's Ice Cream, which is based off of my grandma Hattie. And then I'm also the author of Zakari Goes to College, which is about a college visit that I took my grandson Zakari on. Hi, my name is Juwan Smith, and this is Grandma Hattie's Ice Cream. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey one scoop of cherry ice cream. The cherry ice cream is red. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey two scoops of lemon ice cream. The lemon ice cream is yellow. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey three scoops of orange ice cream. The orange ice cream is orange. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey four scoops of cotton candy ice cream. The cotton candy ice cream is pink. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey five scoops of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mint chocolate chip ice cream is green. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey six scoops of blueberry ice cream. Blueberry ice cream is blue. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey seven scoops of chocolate ice cream. The chocolate ice cream is brown. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey eight scoops of grape ice cream. The grape ice cream is purple. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey nine scoops of vanilla ice cream. The vanilla ice cream is white. Grandma Hattie gave Aubrey 10 scoops of black licorice ice cream. Black licorice ice cream is black. Grandma Hattie makes the best ice cream ever. The end. Hi, I'm Jawan Smith and this is Zakari Goes to College. Zakari loves the weekends. That is when he gets to spend time with his Uncle Trey and his grandmother. This weekend was extra special because they were going on a road trip. To his surprise, they were going on a college visit. Zakari was super excited as they packed the car to leave. As they drove up the street, Zakari thought about all of the things he might see at college. Eventually, Zakari fell asleep. When he woke up, he saw some of the largest buildings he'd ever seen. Uncle Trey held Zakari's hand as they walked and he looked around in amazement. There were so many buildings and people and trees and bikes. Zakari could not wait to start the tour. When they went into the admissions office, they were greeted by a nice lady named Sonia. Sonia was so nice. She offered Zakari a lollipop before they started the tour. When they came out of the admissions office, Miss Sonia had a big surprise for them. The marching band was lined up and started to play and march across the campus. This was great because Zakari loves music and they had drums, horns, and dancers. After watching the band, Zakari was even more excited to get the tour started. The first place on the tour were the classrooms. Since Uncle Trey dreams of being an environmental scientist, they went into the science building. Zakari got to see the cool labs and all of the fancy equipment they used to do experiments. Then they headed to the lecture hall. Zakari had never seen a room so large. Sonia said it can hold up to 1,500 students, and on some Saturday nights, they show movies in there for the students. 
Next stop was the freshman dorms. Since Uncle Trey has a large room at home, Zakari was expecting his dorm to be the same size. To his surprise, it looked nothing like his room at home. All the room had in it was a bed, a desk, and a chair. As they moved on, Zakari could smell food, and this was good because he was getting hungry. They walked into a very large cafeteria. There were so many stations to get food. There was pizza, pasta, sandwiches, salad, cereal, and even an ice cream station. As they sat down to eat, Sonia talked to Uncle Trey about the buildings they had seen so far. Uncle Trey really liked the labs and loved the cafeteria options. Next on the tour was the gym, since Uncle Trey is a basketball player. They walked in the gym and it was so big. Zakari had never been in a gym so large. Sonia took them to see a few more classroom buildings, the student center, the library, and Greek Row before heading back to the financial aid office. As his uncle Trey and grandmother spoke with the financial aid representatives about scholarship opportunities, Zakari looked around the office. There were pictures of people doing so many different activities. They looked so happy and he imagined his uncle Trey enjoying it as well. That is when Zakari realized his uncle Trey would be coming here and leaving home. Zakari instantly got sad because he always had a good time with his Uncle Trey. Zakari started to cry and get very upset. Uncle Trey picked Zakari up and took him in the hallway. He told him what a great opportunity this was for him and how Zakari, when he becomes a big boy like Uncle Trey, he can go to college too. After Uncle Trey and his grandmother completed the paperwork, which showed he would attend for free because of the scholarships he earned, they headed to the bookstore for spirit wear. Uncle Trey was so excited because he was going to attend his dream school. As they walked to the car, Zakari listened as Uncle Trey talked about all of the things he loved about the campus and how excited he was to announce his school on National Decision Day. As they rode home, Zakari had a dream about him walking onto campus to Star College, just like Uncle Trey. This was the best road trip ever. And that's Zakari Goes to College. <laughs>